Five years back, I was physically assaulted by a complete stranger. He punched me in the face. Be no reason why. But in turn, it pushed my front teeth back almost into my throat, and I had to get them removed, which made high school torture. I have a disability. I have autism. I think that's one of the reasons why I've been bullied all my life. And I was in the bathroom, and one of my bullies actually came up behind me, kicked the door in, and grabbed my neck and slammed my head into a toilet, breaking the porcelain on the toilet, and I had to go to the hospital. I was actually taken out of school for a year and put into homeschool to stay, get away from the bullying. As a young child, I was, uh, I was uh, not just epileptic, but I couldn't uh, talk or write. I uh, stuttered. The bullies would get in the thing and try and make me talk or say words that would be difficult for me. And uh, it was a horrible, horrible time. I was bullied, teased, taunted, that general vicinity in high school. I was all that because I was smart, I was middle class, and because I watched Power Rangers. I had transferred schools in fourth grade, and um, a couple weeks into school, people didn't see me as the fun guy people know me as today. They looked at me as a nerd. They actually, some people didn't like me because I didn't swear. I was bullied a lot because of my weight. You know, I'd come home crying every day, and I was sad. It was just a really bad period, a really bad time of my life. I was bullied a lot because of my weight, and I also had a speech impediment when I was younger. A lot of kids took that upon themselves to make fun of me and call me names. You know, it made me feel bad about myself. Uh, I really didn't feel like I was worth anything. People would always come up to me and say, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're not going to have a girlfriend, you're not going to have a life, why are you still even here? I felt really bad. I thought I was useless. I didn't want to go to school. I hated my life. Hey everyone, Hassan here. As you can see, bullying has become a big issue in today's society. Many people go through it throughout their lifetime, whether that's verbal attacks or physical attacks in person, cyberbullying online. Bullying can take many different forms, and, and none of it is okay. It's, it's not okay for somebody to put somebody else down for any reason at all. So, me personally, you know, I've gotten hate for liking Power Rangers. I recently, my YouTube channel was spammed with comments of somebody calling me a terrorist. You know, there's, there's so many different uh, ways of bullying and, and people go through so many different things throughout their life. And, and I wanted to make this little video to give advice to people that are, that are being bullied. Let them know that you are not alone. Uh, there's help out there, whether that's a teacher, a, a friend, a family member, a, a co-worker, a counselor, anybody. In, in, in different situations, there's going to be different people out there that are, that are willing to, to help out. So, you know, stay stay strong and, and you know, be true to yourself. If, if anybody's trying to hate on you for something, be confident in yourself. Know that you are special. Everybody has something unique to offer this world. So don't let the, the haters get to you. You know, be, be yourself and, and stay strong and uh, don't, don't let them uh, try and bog you down. And, you know, don't just take it from me. Uh, here's some friends of mine with some advice as well. Seek an adult or someone in a level of authority. Go to a teacher, go to a coach, go to a counselor, go to a principal. If no one's going to end up paying attention to you, then go outside the school. Of course, your parents or any family members, and maybe even your local trusted newspaper or news station. Eventually, somebody is going to listen to you and want to help you. Advice on bullying? Ignore it. Ignore it the best you can. Because bullies, they can be jerks. But all you need to do is just ignore it and find the better things in life. Most likely the people that are bullying you, they're either jealous of your talents or abilities or they're they have some emotional pain inside of them as well 
So it's best to ignore what they're saying and value your own self-worth because uh, you are worth it as a person. The advice I'd give to someone who's currently being bullied is uh, honestly just ignore it. Um, maybe try and be the bully's friend because sometimes the reason they're bullying someone is because they need a friend deep down. And uh, it sounds a little silly, but uh, you know, give it a try, you never know. Just don't give up. Uh, take that little bit of yourself that you know <laughs> that makes you hope and dream. And don't let anybody crush that down. People can say whatever they want about, uh, about you. You know the real you. Don't let the bullies get to you. Because what they say doesn't matter. What you do is what matters. My advice to you if you are being bullied is to just keep a positive attitude and remember that you are special and unique and there's no one else on this earth exactly like you. Stay positive. Understand that you're not alone. Learn to recognize who your friend is and who isn't your friend because that's one of the biggest things. You know, oftentimes when we were young, we start out thinking that even the bullies are our friends and that they're just messing around with us, but we need to learn to draw the line and, you know, understand that there are boundaries. Me, family and friends actually really helped the most. Like, um, my friends, like, they supported me, they were there for me. Uh, one great friend can really change the world for the better and it can help somebody way more than most people would think. Another important thing that I wanted to mention is if you see somebody being bullied, please step in and help. It's not okay to just let it go by because if somebody's being bullied right then and there, it's important to go step in and show your support and help them out. And that's really the one way to, to kind of help stop bullying because if we just let things be, let them go by, then nothing's going to change. We have to step in and help others out as well. So if you see that happen, please do help out. Uh, I want to read this little story that I have um, because I think it's, it's pretty relevant. Uh, I'm a Muslim and one of the things that I believe in, the uh, one of the messengers of God, Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, as we say, um, there's a little story that I think is, is pretty relevant. And he said that, he said, help your brother whether he is an oppressor or he is oppressed. And somebody else asked him, it is right to help him if he is oppressed, but how should we help him if he is an oppressor? And then uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied, by preventing him from oppressing others. So, you know, that story, it just, it just goes to show it's like one way to stop bullying, the way to help them, is to step in and, and stop them from hurting others. Maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe they're going through their own problems. And, and by stepping in and trying to take a stand, maybe you can get to the root of, of the, the problem and figure things out. So please, if you see somebody being bullied, please step in and try and help them out. So the title of this video is Unity in Diversity. And I wanted to emphasize the fact that we are all different as people, but what makes that truly special is how we can come together and each of us has something unique to offer because of that. So the words unity and diversity seemingly contradict each other, but really it actually fits together nicely because we're all diverse people. We all have something special and, and when we all come together, we're an even greater force. So I think it's important to emphasize how we should appreciate the differences that we all have and, and focus on the, the positive things. You know, don't hate on somebody for being different that's something special. Everybody has something unique to offer. So I think the idea of unity and diversity is uh, very special and it's something that we should really try and promote. So that's why I put a little hashtag in the title. Please spread the hashtag, you know, s share this video with as many people as possible and use the hashtag unity and diversity. I'd like to see it spread around. I'd like to see us make a positive change because I think it's an important message. And I think whatever we can do to help out uh, is, is going to be great. Even if it's helping one person out there, I feel like that would be a huge accomplishment. Anything that we can do to help. As you can see, many of us have gone through bullying ourselves, and the more that we can spread a message and help anyone else that is being bullied, the better that we can do. So I think uh, it's important to really uh, spread this, this positive message of unity and diversity. We are all equal. And we all have something great to offer. Each and every one of us has a place in this world. If we stand together, we can make a greater impact. 
Life is too short. To let hatred get the spotlight. Instead, we must promote unity and diversity. That means celebrating what, what makes each of us special. And using that to make a positive change. So stand up. And say no to bullying. Together. 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 We can change the world. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.